If there's one thing you need to know about owning guinea pigs is the importance of hay. In this video we'll learn why hay is so vital to guinea pig health and digestion, how to feed hay and how to recognize good quality hay. Also at the end of the video I'll share my top tips for how to encourage your guinea pig to eat even more hay. So we can never have enough hay right? So I often get asked a lot of questions about this stuff. It's the fact that hay should make up 80% of a guinea pig's diet. 80%! First up, I was really interested to learn why hay is so important to guinea pigs and it's because of the special way that they digest food. Guinea pigs aren't like any normal herbivore. They are fibervores. So just like rabbits and chinchillas, they have a digestive system that relies on the constant movement of fiber. Just to be clear, this isn't any old fiber. It's not like when we talk about ooh, getting more fiber from eating more fruit and vegetables. This is hardcore fiber, the type that us humans wouldn't even dream of attempting to digest. So guinea pigs originate from South America in grassland and mountainous habitats. This is where they eat tough grasses in addition to seeds, leaves, stems, and even roots and barks. Whilst our domesticated pigs are a different species, they still have this same digestive process. And what happens is, with the help of bacteria, fibre is fermented in their digestive system and nutrients extracted. Sometimes material even goes around the digestive system twice so they can get the most out of their low nutrient, high fiber food that they're adapted to eating. Yes, this means they sometimes eat their own poops, but we'll get onto that another time. Because guinea pigs get most of their energy and goodness from tough fiber, they need to eat a lot of it. They usually graze throughout the entire day, only taking short breaks where they're not eating. And this is also why the teeth of guinea pigs grow continuously, so the teeth aren't worn down by this constant munching. It's the hard molecules in grass and hay that wear the teeth down. So today we need to make sure they can eat enough of that so the teeth don't overgrow, as well as supporting their unique digestive system. So it's pretty clear that hay is the most important thing that guinea pigs eat. Fortunately, this means the question of how much hay and when to give is easily answered. We should be giving our guinea pigs a constant, unlimited supply of fresh hay all day, every day. For us, this means I clean out the litter tray and fill with fresh hay once a day and then I keep an eye on the hay and top it up maybe three or four times throughout the day and then I add a big pile just before bed so they've got enough overnight. As you can see, I feed the piggies their hay by putting it in their hay room, which I also refer to as their litter tray. It's kind of inevitable that guinea pigs poop where they eat. <laughs> so if you're giving your guinea pigs hay like this, in a more natural way where they can just sit and eat it in a big pile, it's important to keep the hay fresh by topping it up and cleaning out the area at least every day. Alternatively, you can use hay racks, hay boxes or hay bags, any way to keep the hay off the floor. You might find if you do this that you don't use as much hay because you don't need to throw as much away as it's not soiled on. However, don't expect it to be mess free because your guinea pigs will pull the hay out, they will scatter it around and they will pee and poo where the hay lands. You might have read that it's unhygienic to put the hay straight on the floor as I do and that it should always be kept higher up. However, as long as you clean up regularly and keep the hay topped up so there's always fresh hay there, your guinea pigs aren't going to get ill from eating a bit of soiled hay. You are just so cute and distracting. Are you enjoying that hay, darling? Also, if you are using a hay bag or hay rack, then make sure they're safe and make sure they're big enough to hold enough hay. You basically just want to make sure that there's plenty of hay there and your guinea pigs can reach it without it being too much of a challenge for them. Personally, I like to give big piles of hay on the floor so it's easiest and safest for my older piggies to get to. The hay is truly unlimited and they can also play, fall asleep and burrow in the hay, which they really love to do. Sometimes I pack the hay into a tube or a toy, so there's always fresh hay somewhere else in the cage as well. We'd love to hear how you feed hay and what your piggies prefer, so drop us a comment below. 
Okay, so getting into the nitty gritty here, what type of hay to feed? Well, Timothy is usually the number one recommended hay for guinea pigs. Today you can order really good quality hay online and if you do order Timothy, then go for the second cut because this doesn't contain as many hard stems as the first cut and it's got some more leaves and flower heads mixed in there so it's quite a nice range of textures. If you're in the US, then some good alternatives to Timothy are orchard or bluegrass hay. If you're in the UK, unfortunately, we don't have the long hot summers that are needed to grow lots of really good quality Timothy hay. So what we'll usually see is a mix of meadow hays available and then occasionally some imported Timothy. I found what I think is a good brand of mixed meadow hay that the guinea pigs really seem to enjoy. It's called Dust Free Hay and I'll put the link in the description below. I do also get the piggies some imported Timothy hay simply because they really love it. It's so green and fresh smelling. It's the Alfalfa King Timothy hay that you can pick up at Pets at Home or you can also order online for slightly cheaper. Again, I've put the link in the description for this one in case you're interested. Hays that you should avoid are alfalfa and clover hay as they are really high in calcium and protein and generally not recommended for guinea pigs unless you have young guinea pigs less than six months old or heavily pregnant guinea pigs who might benefit from a bit of extra calcium in their diet. It's important that guinea pigs don't get too much calcium because they are prone to bladder and kidney stones which I do want to cover in a future video as it's a really common health issue for guinea pigs. So in general I'd recommend feeding a mix of haze, then working out what your guinea pigs prefer most and then kind of adjusting the mix based on their preferences. Now when we go and buy hay, it's important to know how to recognise good quality hay. Unfortunately we can't usually have a proper look at it until we've already got it home and opened it, but at least then we know whether to go with that brand again. So hay shouldn't be too dusty, it should never smell musty or mouldy, it should always smell really fresh. Another thing that I always look for is hay with nice long strands. Sometimes you get hay where it's chopped up into loads of little bits and it's not as good for that movement of fibre through the digestive system as hay with nice long strands is. Your guinea pigs might also prefer it if you get a hay that's got lots of different textures in it so you've got the stems and the leaves and then the grass flower heads as well. So knowing how important hay is it can be kind of worrying if we think that our guinea pigs aren't eating enough hay and it is true that sometimes guinea pigs go off certain brands they don't eat particular hays at all. So here are my five top tips to encourage your guinea pigs to eat as much hay as possible. Number one, provide big piles of hay. Don't restrict hay to a hay rack or a bag off the floor. Number two, give hay in all locations around the cage. So whether you have a hay room like me, you might also provide other bits and pieces around the cage. Number three, if you take your guinea pigs out for lap time, floor time, and even outside in the run in the garden, don't forget to provide fresh hay too in all these scenarios, not just in the cage. Number four, offer different types and brands of hay to increase interest. Also, fresh grass is always a favourite and can be fed alongside fresh, good quality hay. And number five, reduce the amount of pellets, treats, and other dried food that you give them, especially if you're worried they're not eating enough hay. As a rough guide, the pellet bowl should be empty before the end of the day and you should give the average piggy one eighth of a cup per pellets per day. Okay, so we hope you enjoyed this video guys. If you did, let us know by giving us a thumbs up and commenting below. I'd be really interested to know what types of hay you feed and the different ways that you feed it as well. And finally, check out the links in the description before you go. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye for now.